Hi, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Lectus Training on Sunday Readings. Today, we'll prepare for the readings of July 3, the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our reference books. In the first reading, keep your tone of voice light and happy because it is intended to give hope and raise the spirit of the Israelites who were journeying to Jerusalem after their long exile. Speak these images with comfort and delight. This tender image calls for a softer, gentler tone. Build energy from the first to the second line. God is making a promise here. Speak it with authority, but with the love of a parent who promises an inheritance to a child. Here, Jerusalem is described as a nursing mother. And here, God assumes the role of a mother. When all of these things happen, this is how we are going to feel. Say, exalt. Notice that it is not X, but you have here the short I sound followed by a G sound and a Z sound. So it is ex, exalt, ig, exalt. Say, comfort, comfort. Say, flourish or flourish flourish or flourish first reading a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah thus says the Lord rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her all you who love her. Exalt, exalt with her, all you who are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with the light at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. 
Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. In the second reading, pause briefly after boast, then state forcefully the rest of the line. Move quickly through the circumcision discussion and then slow down for the point that really matters, that is new creation. This prayer should be spoken gently and lovingly. This is what the assembly or the people should remember. This should be spoken with strength, not anger. And this final blessing, speak this to the assembly. Sustain eye contact. Memorize the line so that you can look at the assembly or the people. Say, circumcision, circumcision, troubles, troubles. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither does circumcision mean anything nor does uncircumcision, but only a new creation. Peace and mercy be to all who follow this rule and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Alleluia, alleluia. That's it, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Join me again next week for the readings of July 10, the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Until then, goodbye and God bless you all. Again, thank you.